Today here in the dungeon we're checking out the Bone Shaker Distortion from DoD. There's a lot of different modes on this pedal, so I'm going to demo this one in the music stand as opposed to down on the floor in front of me. Um, a quick overview of how this thing works. There's, there's nine different knobs. Um, you got your distortion, depth, and uh, output level, of course. And then uh, the bottom three, uh, the bottom row here, this is where it gets interesting because each of these are uh, dual knobs or stacked uh, stack knobs, whatever you want to call them. The uh, top knobs are the level, and the bottom knobs are the uh, frequency selector. This is actually a, a, a three-band parametric EQ. So for your low, low, mid, and high, you can actually select which, which low frequency, uh, mid frequency, high frequency, and then boost that level or cut it with the top knob. So I'm going to start with everything in the 12 o'clock position.
One thing this pedal was designed for was down-tuned guitars. I'm going to give that a try. This guitar is tuned down uh, a whole step and uh, drop C. And uh, let's see what it sounds like. Here's the clean tone. nothing else this pedal definitely gets my vote for best pedal for the price ever dod were their you know if, if i understand it correctly they were their own company through the late 70s and early 80s and then got bought out by digitech and digitech kind of kept the line or kept the brand alive for a little while and eventually phased it out and uh now they're back a lot of what they've been doing is reissuing the uh a lot of the old pedals from the late 70s and 80s that were real popular. But this is not one of those. This is a new design. And as the story goes, and as it says on the pedal, this was actually designed by uh, Black Arts Tone Works, who are a, uh, a high-end boutique pedal company that are very popular. 
as the story goes, the guys from uh, Digitech, Digitech slash DoD and the guys from Black Arts Tone Works actually uh, this the idea for this pedal was conceived on a napkin at a diner at Nam, I believe. So the two collaborated together, and this is the end result, and it's 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 fantastic. I think. I read or I heard that this pedal was and it was really designed to be it was really designed to uh, you know for for you know lower you know again lower tunings and uh, the dark metal genres you know but I, they didn't want that to be all it could do actually I think the thing that surprised me the most was the when you turn the gain control all the distortion control all the way down and uh, just run that straight into a clean channel I, uh, I on a single coil I found some really really cool you know bluesy type of tones out of it you know there were i don't want to say tube screamerish but you know but very very cool and with this eq design here you can dial in just about any kind of eq setting that you could think of i found when i found it was best to start with everything at, at 12 o'clock because of the levels with everything at 12 o'clock that's designed to be flat so you can either uh, boost or cut uh whatever the selected frequency is on each of these so I found it was best to start with everything at 12 o'clock, select the frequency that you want to work with, and then cut or boost it from there. The treble frequencies are can be a little dangerous. I, if you notice uh, in the demo, I had them dialed back pretty pretty far. They are if you turn them up too high, and if you turn them up too high, they get ear piercingly shrill. And uh, at least through my setup in my environment here, they do. They were usable but if you you know but there was a point when they were completely unusable you know a lot of treble is not necessarily a bad thing you know but to my ear keeping it toned down and selecting the frequency a little bit more towards the the high mids you know was a little bit again just a little bit more pleasing to my ear before i did this video i actually tried this thing out through my randall uh my randall diablo head which is by far the darkest sounding head that i own and even then the the the, uh, the treble control on this thing was very 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 prominent the depth control i noticed next to next to nothing i think the reason why that is there this pedal is also designed to be used with bass guitar and my understanding is that depth control really is there for bass players more than anything i didn't plug a bass into it just because I didn't, but <laughs> maybe I'll demo that on, you know, do make that its own separate video here at some point just for kicks. These are, uh, these run about, well, when they were, these were still current, I believe they just recently discontinued these because here's what happened. They were, these sold for about, uh, 149 to 159 brand new, just about everywhere. All of a sudden Harmon, who, and Harmon is the parent company of Digitech and DOD and, uh, uh, several other companies. Harmon actually sold these direct off of their website for $39.99 and I had to you know I as soon as I saw that deal I ordered mine no sooner did I order it did I find out that they were on back order they were you know that word about that deal got out around the guitar pedal communities pretty fast and these things sold like hotcakes these things sold fast and uh and again I had to wait for uh, a second shipment to come in from overseas these are these do say designed in the USA but I do believe they're made in China so I had to wait for another shipment to come in before I got mine. It took about a month to get it, but boy, was it worth it. It was worth the wait. Very, very worth the wait. Uh, lighter weight and smaller than I expected it to be. I don't know what I was... I mean, it's, it's a standard size stomp box. I don't know what I was, you know, if I was, why I was expecting it to be a little bit bigger, but for some reason I was. I guess just because it's got, you know, these six slash nine knobs on it. Given the deal that uh, that was being offered on it versus the uh, the quality of tone that's and the uh, the flexibility versatility of tone that can be gotten out of this thing, that's why this thing gets my vote for best pedal for the price ever. You know, I'm really really happy to see Digitech. You know, both the Digitech and the DoD. Uh, I'm happy to see the DoD stuff come back, but I'm also happy to see Digitech really stepping up uh, the game and both of those. Uh, both of those lines, both those pedal lines, in order to, you know, it seems like they're really trying to compete with the with the boutique pedal companies and the boutique pedal market. And so, they, you know, uh, Digitech, several other companies are doing this, but Digitech, and you know, is uh, as it relates to this subject, is really, really stepping up their game. And uh, I'm I'm very, very happy because for the longest time I wouldn't touch anything that had their name on it because I had been burned way too many times. Now. I'm back into Digitech and DoD products. So 
go check them out. There are links to, uh, I'll, I'll post links to both websites down in the description below as well as I will see if these are still available to be uh, to be purchased anywhere. Uh, I saw them, uh, when the, one reason why these things sold so fast is because a lot of guys bought them up, expect, you know, trying to flip them. Uh, it was within a couple of weeks of when this deal was posted that these things were popping up on Reverb for $80 and $90 all over the place. So, you know, there's, and I guarantee you, you're going to find a lot of these things new in the box for that price. So just because there's guys out there, it's an opportunity for a lot of people to make money. I've done it before myself. But uh, any and all applicable links down in the description below. Uh, as always, please don't hesitate to leave your comments uh, down in the comments section. I'm always happy to answer and uh, you know talk about pedals and guitar gear in general. That's that's why we do this. If you're a musician and you have broken or unwanted instruments, please go visit my friends at Share the Music on Facebook and learn how you and your broken instruments can help change somebody's life.